It's Monday, which <laughs> I just got that. It's Monday, which means it's time for the weekend box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice shattered box office predictions, opening up at number one with $166.1 million domestic, marking the biggest debut of a DC comic film ever and the sixth biggest domestic opening weekend of all time. Overseas, it opened to $254 million from 66 markets for a global debut of $420.1 million. Zootopia took the number two spot with $23.1 million to push the domestic total to $240.5 million. At number three was My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, earning $18.1 million. There was a tie for the number four spot with Miracle from Heaven and the Divergent series Allegiant, both taking in $9.5 million. And at number five, 10 Cloverfield Lane with $6 million. Mark, your thoughts on the huge box office for Batman vs. Superman. Well, congratulations it's enough money to make sad Affleck happy Affleck again and that's all we really wanted this weekend look it made 166 million dollars a lot of estimates and still if you go online this morning you might see that it was at 170 that is not quite the case it got a little inflated late Sunday night the actual number is 166 which is interesting because yes it is still a huge monstrous opening but it is no longer the biggest Warner Brothers opening of all time that will still remain with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which did $169 million at the box office its opening weekend. But listen to these records. I mean, it's the biggest March opening of all time. It's the biggest opening for a DC Comics movie of all time. And obviously, it's the biggest one of the year. And it beats Fast and Furious's record for the March opening, I believe, which was like $145 million, somewhere around there. So a huge weekend. And I'm personally, I'm happy to see it. Even though I didn't love the movie, I didn't get it to fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm glad to see that fans do not pay that much attention. While they read all the stuff that critics were saying about it, they wanted to see it for themselves. It's a movie that I still think should have been witnessed in theaters. I know you guys saw it multiple times this weekend. I did my best to get there for a second time. It's a movie worth checking out in a movie theater. And then everything else, like, look, Zootopia is still killing it. I like to see 10 Cloverfield Lang hanging on there. My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 got... It, it, if you think Batman versus Superman didn't do well with critics, my big fat Greek wedding too got lambasted by them. But apparently, there's still a market for it. The movie's not that expensive to make, and it did 18 million dollars against a behemoth like Batman versus Superman. So, hats off to you, my big fat Greek wedding too. Dennis, what about these numbers? Stands out to you? Well, yeah, we talked about this last week. We talked about this movie, even though we all here had mixed feelings about the film, we knew that it was still going to make a lot of money. Had the crit uh, had the reviews been a lot better, I think it would have pushed closer to a two hundred million. But one hundred and sixty is great for it. But uh, I know a lot of people were screw the critics. You know, critics don't matter. Da da da. Like to me, that's. That's like saying, oh, I don't care about my ex-girlfriend, but every chance I, I get, I can bring, up, bring her up in conversation, right? <laughs> like, it, it does matter, but this particular movie, like we talked about with Transformers, it's not as bad a movie as Transformers, but it, it, I think it's one of those few movies that can escape any type of criticism. It could have got like 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it still would have made a ton of money. I'm actually, I actually didn't get to see it a second time yet, but I'm going tonight. Uh, just I want to see it again, this time with lowered expectations expectations and maybe just to see how the fan reaction is to it yeah i love seeing the way that people would go back a second time and say they're going in with a different framework e either they're lowering their expectations or they're saying i'm going to go see this movie and watch it from the perspective of a graphic novel as opposed to a movie and maybe it flows better that way schnepp your take on the box office yeah i'm going to go see it again tonight too i only saw it once i'm going to see it tonight with like the uh like watching it like a disjunctive strange abstract comedy so maybe i'll <laughs> I'll enjoy it more. You know what? I think it was great that all of us had our opinions out there so that you could see it with lowered expectations and then actually enjoy it. Yeah, because, we did you all a favor. Yeah, we did you. We, we did so much good for all of you to give it like, Batman is Superman. You guys are crazy. It was eight, nine out of ten. You would only say that because we ganked on it so hard and was like, look at all these scenes that don't make sense. And this was disappointing and that was disappointing. Believe it. We, there was great scenes and are great scenes in that film. But if you if we were, I was, I'll speak for myself, really excited to see that film. And I think I went in there with too high of expectations. So 
pretty bummed out about it, but I'm gonna see it again now with like actually like medium level expectations and see what I think. So you know that's the thing. That's a that's the reason it, it didn't make 200 million because of the critics reviews. Yeah. But everyone wants to have an opinion on Batman v Superman. It's like it's something that you need to see in the theater because otherwise you're left out of this insane debate about whether it's a good film, an amazing film, or a bad film. Should Zack Snyder do Justice League? All these questions people were like asking over the last week. You need to have seen. You have to see the movie to actually be part of that conversation so i think it's going to carry over into next week but uh yeah it's a and giant box you and crazy. me and frosty did a little hero special that totally. we posted this morning you can check that out we're talking about the dc universe after batman v superman yeah trying like, to answer but i mean obviously you have to watch the movie before you watch yeah that. if you've seen the film if you've seen batman v superman this weekend check out our little uh it's not even a spoiler thing it's we talk a little bit about batman v superman but it's all speculation about beyond suicide squad and wonder woman what are those next films where, where are they going to go in that direction? So. No, the question, though, the big question is next weekend, right? Yeah. Because there, a lot of these are pre-sell tickets, every all the all the fans, is it going to have repeat viewings? Because the reports are that the drop off from Friday to Sunday, just this weekend for Batman v Superman, were really high. They said it was like one, of the, actually the highest percentage drop off for a superhero film. Maybe it's because of Easter Sunday. We had WonderCon going on. I don't know how those how much those affected. The box office but next weekend is the big indicator how much is it going to drop off yeah i mean i always look at the box office like the first weekend can be influenced by critics and after that it really is a matter of how much the fans like it so we're going to find out people can say all they want on on internet chat rooms that oh this is the greatest movie ever but we're going to find out what the box office says next weekend because that's how many people a want to see it for the first time but mostly who wants to go back again and check it out i think it's going to have great repeat business because if you see it the first time there's so much in there there's so many Easter eggs. There's so much to feast your eyes on that you want to go see other hints. Like, I, we don't want to get into spoiler territory here on this show, but I want to go back and check it out again just to see some of those images again, see some of those sequences that I might have just been, like, so overwhelmed by the first time. I want to see this movie again in theaters, even though I didn't like it. It's rare to say that. I think it's one of those ones that's going to hold up pretty well. Look at what's coming out next week, too. I mean, everybody wants some. The title alone of that movie is going to get me in to see the theaters. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Van Halen fan. I hope it's great. And then you have God's Not Dead Part 2, yeah. I believe, which we know is going to get the faith-based dollar. But I don't know that it's going to anything's going to be close to toppling B versus S. It, do, is there a chance that it does... 50% or less of yes. what it did yes. this weekend. Yes. I, yes. I actually I would I would put money that it's going to do less than 50%. Yeah. So it would be over or, 80 million dollars I mean, would yeah. be the whole. Yeah. 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 yeah, I would it, say it's going to drop off more than 50% yeah, because most of these films like that got okay critical responses but even if the fans loved it they all see it the first weekend like the Incredible Hulk that had a 60% drop off. The original just Ang Lee Hulk had a 65% a drop off. A lot of these films have these big drop offs between just week one and week two because the critical response was like, eh, I'm not so sure, but the people who are like, I wanna see it for myself, usually go the first or second weekend, but mainly the first weekend. So I think this will have a 50% drop off for sure. People are asking us in the chat room <laughs> about a deleted scene with Lex Luthor. I have to say we actually, that dropped like right when we were getting ready for the show. So we haven't seen it yet. So we'll probably talk about that tomorrow. On a side note, I think you and me tied for box office predictions over the weekend. Well, then I should get the tiebreaker because you totally <laughs> price is right at me with Batman versus no, Superman. No, no, not that though, but for the, the well, well, yeah, you won the... the. Because I was $1 million yes, closer. You won the tiebreaker then. Yeah, but, but the price is right, I think you gotta get, get the closest to it without going over, so we both mm -hmm. lost, but I was $1 million closer to the take. You win. You we, get the win then. We all lowered our expectations because I had totally. it $200 million for a while, then I took it down to 183 because I was just so nervous about the critics' reviews of it. But mm -hmm. yes, I win the box office and I'm going to let you guys know I won the box office because it happens once a year. <laughs> this was it <laughs> for me. Uh hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.